Barack Obama argues that the wealthy should pay more taxes, that you, should, you shouldn't have that much money. Well, he, he also argued that global warming would, would flood the coastlines, but he still spends $12 million on a, be a beachfront property mansion at Martha's Vineyard. Barack Obama said if he had a son, he'd look like Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin was, was a thug who attacked a man who was doing nothing but following him, Zimmerman, George Zimmerman, and George popped a cap in his ass and Trayvon's dead. Trayvon, you should have kept your hands to yourself. You can't beat somebody up for following you during a period of time in which their neighbor, neighbor, neighbor's houses are getting robbed every day. Okay. Obama celebrated a would-be cop killer, Michael Brown, he brought his mother to the White House. Michael Brown robbed a store, stole some cigarettes, assaulted a little Korean clerk, walked down the middle of the road, was apprehended by a guy named, a man named Darren Wilson, a police officer. He, he, he tried to re remove Darren Wilson's weapon. Two shots were fired through the floor of Darren Wilson's car, and then Darren Wilson gets out of his car, and he is bum bull rushed by Michael Brown, and Michael Brown dies. And what does Barack Obama say? Hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. Nonsense. He, 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 Obama's a literal pea brain. Again, th that place in uh, Martha's Vineyard. Global warming is going to flood the, sh flood the coastlines. Hey, here's $12 million for a great house on the coastlines. For my kids, my daughters will enjoy it. Get the fuck. Check out what Alan Dershowitz has to say about Barack Obama. I can't say his last name. Compare it because it, it'll, they'll hack my video. Listen to what Alan Dershowitz says about Obama backing the, the Palestinians who have just in, made an incursion into uh, Israel and raped, pillaged, and plundered, and even, even raped the dead. He even had sex with the dead. Old ladies... Young ladies, middle-aged ladies, it was the sickest thing. And Brum was saying, show, oh, never mind, I can't say his name. Show restraint. My ass. No, you can't make those kinds of comparisons, Barack Obama. And I have to tell you, what you did is just despicable. It's beneath contempt. And, um, and whatever respect I had for you, I have absolutely lost. Fortunately, so have many other Americans. Uh, lost respect for you. And I'm hoping that you have no influence on the current administration, future Democratic administrations, and that your lack of morality ends up in the, in the dustbin of history where, where it belongs. And so I'm ashamed that I was your friend. I'm ashamed that I invited you to my birthday party. I'm ashamed that I accepted your invitation to the Oval Office. And I'm ashamed, ashamed that I allowed you to fool me into thinking that you actually uh, supported Israel. You do not. Nobody who has any love for Israel in their heart would ever make the kind of seen obnoxious comparison you made between murder, rape, kidnapping, burning of, of, of civilians and, and a disputed occupation that could have ended over and over again if the Palestinians had only uh, accepted the deals offered by President Clinton and by others in the American administration, not by you. You didn't do anything to help the peace process, but Clinton did and, and Trump did and, and others did, but not you. Um, all you did was condemn Israel. Don't count on me and my support. Um, uh, you, you have been an enemy to justice, an enemy to Israel, an enemy to the Jewish people, and an enemy to decency. I'm embarrassed that I ever thought it as highly as you as I obviously did. I was fooled by you. I'll never be fooled again.